Two nonprofits devoted to making the world more accessible to all say that they wish they could do something about their own block. For years now, they have dealt with crumbling sidewalks and no handicap parking. They told CBS 2's Noel Brennan they feel like city leaders are listening, though. Take a big step, Ben. No matter the size of your step, Take a big step. someone here can help you with the next. We serve children with disabilities. We provide intensive therapy for children who have cerebral palsy. The Center for Independence shares a roof in Brighton Park with another nonprofit. When I first came here, I came here for equipment. Devices for the disabled gives the gift of mobility. I got a manual chair. To people like Misael Suarez. Oh, this chair is everything, man. But the journey to this front door is not very smooth. No, sometimes you have to like navigate through the blacks and try to find different areas where you can park. For about two years, staff at both nonprofits say they've pleaded for new sidewalks. It's just not safe. It's dangerous. And reserved disabled parking signs on West 36th Place. There is no handicap accessible parking. There is no curb cuts. It's real difficult to be able to um, negotiate this curb without safe sidewalks, without safe accessible parking. We jokingly say that it would take a person with a socket wrench, go to the pole and change the no parking zone right here uh, to handicapped parking spaces. Turns out putting up a handicapped parking sign hasn't been so simple. You know, we usually tell people that it, you know, it could take up to four months. Alderman Julio Ramirez of the 12th Ward took office last May. She says city council needs to pass an ordinance. This is the ordinance. Before the um, Department of Transportation can install disabled parking signs in West 36th Place. Yeah, to establish parking restriction, reserve disabled parking, $200. A draft is ready to go, and she doesn't place. expect opposition. Oh, definitely not. I mean, this is necessary and, you know, more necessary because of the work that they do and the people that they serve. For now, it's back to waiting. Shouldn't be that hard in my opinion. And another winter, wheeling over crumbling sidewalks. You have people coming in with wheelchairs, you know. It's not safe for little kids. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Alderman Ramirez says she has already allocated the money, though, to get the sidewalks fixed.